There are all kinds of cards. There are small cards, big cards, cheerful cards, sad cards, funny cards, celebratory cards, not so celebratory cards, birthday cards, homemade cards, holiday cards, welcoming cards, and many, 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 many more. With so many categories of cards for so many different occasions, it's hard to imagine how anyone could hate them. That someone is me. I hate cards. All of them. Big cards. Little cards. Cheerful cards. You name it, and I probably hate it. I know hating cards seems like such a trivial thing, but before you call me spoiled or thoughtless, just hear me out. Happy birthday, dear Mariah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Ever since the age of 10, my family has given me nothing but cards. It's become sort of a tradition. It was in large part my dad's idea. He was always kind of a penny pincher. He grew up in poverty, and so instead of exchanging gifts, him and his family exchanged cards. And so, in his world, getting a card for your birthday was equivalent to receiving a diamond ring. In order to keep me humble, he carried down this tradition, and I don't mean to sound materialistic when I say this, but most kids at the age of 13 were getting toys, maybe even a new bike. And I got, well, take a guess. To get him to stop this tradition, I often thought about using cards for evil instead of good. Maybe I run away and leave nothing but cards with obscure clues. Or maybe I could hint for months that I'm getting him some amazing new gadget, get him excited, and then on his birthday, hand him a box with nothing but a tiny card in it. But each time I came close to carrying out those plans, I would think about how much all these cards meant to him. Some days, I would find him going through boxes of old cards. He often said it reminds him of good times with good people. I saw how much he appreciated these cards, and I think over time, I began to slowly appreciate them as well. That is, until my dad started to get really sick. <coughs> my family and I would try to stay hopeful, but with each passing day, it seemed like he just got worse and worse and worse. I watched as sickness overtook my dad, who was this generally joyful and fun-loving man, and just turned him to stone. My dad passed away a few weeks before my 17th birthday. His death hit me hard, but I think it hit my mom harder. She didn't leave the house. She didn't eat. In most days, she took to secluding herself to the quiet darkness of her room. By the time my 17th birthday finally rolled around, she was so depressed she could barely acknowledge that I got another year older. I can't blame her. I didn't really acknowledge it either. That was the first year I didn't get a card. It's amazing to think about how much you don't miss something until it disappears into thin air. Happy to you. Happy birthday, dear Mariah. Happy birthday to you. It's been three years since my dad's death. I'm 20 years old today, and me and my mom have become closer than ever. And though my dad isn't here to give me cards anymore, we've started a new tradition to commemorate his memory. You see that box? It's filled with card after card, all of them from my dad. Me and my mom love to sit and read them. And together, we reflect on who my dad was and who he'll forever be. So maybe I don't hate cards all that much after all. Maybe my resentment for cards came not from the lack of material things in my life, but the fact that I didn't appreciate what was physically there when I had the chance. I know these cards won't bring back my dad, but when I read them, I can almost feel his presence. Permanently written and sealed in an envelope. Words don't die, and so, in a way, neither will he. While we're on the topic of cards, there's almost one I forgot. Here, this one is for you. Love, Mariah.